Yes, it's true. I am in fact going to be on TV and it's probably not for what you are expecting. Maybe you're thinking, am I going to be on the latest episode of Wheeler Dealers or appear somewhere on Top Gear? Unfortunately, no, that's not the case. I will explain exactly uh, which program and what channel and what time you can tune in to watch me. Um, but yeah, I guess I should kind of take things back to the beginning, how this opportunity uh, came about and yeah, really go into all of the details for those of you that care. So I want to say around October or November of last year or so, I made a video basically explaining that my one of my cars the registration had in fact been cloned and that video got a few thousand views you know many of you guys watched it you know said thanks for the advice and whatever else um, but I actually got an email off the back of that video about a week or two later I want to say and it was actually from a production company now I really didn't think anything of it at the time. I get a bunch of emails on a daily basis asking me to do this, asking me to do that. Uh, most things really are just not worth my time on. You know, I get a lot of scam emails as well, of course. So yeah, I did reply back to the email. They basically asked, you know, a little bit of information about myself and asked if I would be um, interested in appearing on a TV series. So yeah, I did. Uh, get back to them, sent the relevant information and then I found out that it was actually a legit company and the production company they actually make TV programs for BBC here in the UK, I think Channel 4, ITV and I think loads of other ones as well so yeah pretty uh, I was pretty interested and pretty uh, excited at that point and then I guess kind of you know a lot of back and forth via email and about two months had went by and then we had arranged a date and this was I think literally is either the day before Christmas or the day before Christmas Eve so it's like 23rd or 24th of December a uh, production company came to my house and we literally shot all day I was you know literally in front of the camera pretty much for like around eight hours so yes yeah, a full day of filming now the thing you probably want to know the most is what's the program going to be about and what the hell does it have to do with you so like I mentioned, they uh, contacted me on the back of the uh, video that I made about my car being cloned. Now, there is a program on BBC and I think it's like kind of airing uh, every year. There's like a five or six part series called Frontline Fightback. Now, essentially in this episode, they're going to be featuring me talking about my experience, obviously having my car cloned. And then I think they're going to, you know, basically... Um, warn people what to do how not to get into a similar situation that I've been in and I'm guessing they're going to have police you know talking on the matter as well talking how it's you know um, a rising thing here in the UK and yeah I really don't know what else because obviously I'm not in charge of any of the editing like I said we was filming for a good eight hours it seemed and I may only be in it for literally a couple of minutes but I guess I'll have to wait and see. It's um, It's been a good experience um, for me. If you do want to watch it, it actually airs uh, one week today. Today is Thursday the 11th and it airs on Thursday the 18th of May at 10 a.m. on BBC One. I'll stick all of the details down below. I think it will more than likely be on iPlayer as well so, so yeah it's there for anyone that wants to check it out like i said i really don't know what to expect from it um but i want to say it was a good experience you know i learned a lot i learned actually what goes into making a tv episode pretty sure they said my segment in the 45 minutes to an hour program would be around 15 minutes and the fact we had to record for like eight hours yeah there's a lot that goes into it like when i record a youtube video there's actually one camera one angle and that's pretty much it but we ended up having to go over the same thing over and over again not necessarily because i messed up or you know it wasn't good enough but just to get different angles so they'll piece 
you know things together from different angles they won't necessarily use different cameras they'll literally just record the same thing like five or six times just from different angles so it's yeah it's a little, it's very very repetitive when you are you know trying to explain something or if you're trying to show something you have to record things so so many times when it comes to tv but i guess that's why you get a a better more rounded polished um you know final piece whereas youtube it's just kind of off the cuff and it's a lot more basic especially with my editing i really don't go uh, too much to town but yeah i tried to make these uh, videos easy enough to follow along and i tried to make them a bit more personable whereas on tv like i said it's a more uh, polished product but yeah i guess the point of making this video was to uh, let you guys know um, for anyone that you know wants to watch it maybe want, you want to see me on tv um, but i guess a point that i want to make is if you have an opportunity in your life just take it you never know where you may end up you know chances are i won't get anything off the back of this tv appearance you know we did do a piece talking about my youtube channel and how long i've been doing it and all the rest of it but am i expecting to see like a spike in subscribers or viewership probably not you know the majority of people that probably watch this uh, program they're probably not going to be that interested in cars or you know the things that i really do on my channel um but yeah like i said it was a good experience i learned a lot and it's something that i can now say i've done I don't know if I could say that I would, you know, necessarily want to go into TV into the future because if I'm being honest, I think it is a, I think it is a dying art. I think the likes of YouTube and other internet medium are really just taking over and yeah, TV in my opinion is kind of going downhill. Not only that, as I mentioned, you have no control of the edit. So, you know, you may record, you know, loads of good content and it ends up not even being in the final product. Whereas on YouTube, especially with me, I have full control with exactly what goes into the video. But yeah, guys, if you have an opportunity in life, just take it. Like I said, chances are nothing will come from it, but you never know, I could now be you know, in the in the future, I could be the face of Top Gear. Um, we really just do not know, do we? Um, I'm grateful for the opportunity that this platform has provided me. Um, yeah, by no means am I moving over to TV now. I'm still, of course, going to be uh, putting all of my effort into this channel. Um, but yeah, guys, I just want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank you for all your support. As always, please give this video a like. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And I will see you all in the next one.